be with me and she had to use the bathroom i don't take her to the women's bathroom i don't feel comfortable in the women's bathroom i don't think many women are going to be comfortable with me in the women's bathroom so i took her to the men's we got our bags with us we walk into the bathroom and this homeless guy just comes out of the stall and it smells terrible in there you know he was in there doing what he had to do not his fault one of the porters that cleans here saw me we're boarding okay one of the porters that works here saw me and he was like, hey, bro, you want me to hit the bathroom with me and clean it for you? I said, yeah, thank you, man. And he said, yeah, bro, I got a daughter who's five. He said, so I understand how hard it is to be a dad and try to get them in a clean bathroom where they feel comfortable and safe. Hey, man, you know that chest tingly feeling like you could cry? You're not going to, but you could. I felt that, man. I felt, I felt sick. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it validated so many things that I felt frustrated with because they were hard. But don't nobody want to hear a, a, a man complaining about what's difficult for him. Nobody want to hear a dad complaining about what's hard. But for that man to see me struggling and understand deeply what that meant and clean that stall for my baby, man, it meant the world. I appreciate that, brother. His name is George. He works here at the Pennsylvania Amtrak station. So if you see George Doskin, brother, with two braids in his head, tell him he's doing an amazing job because I'm going to email the supervisor and do just that. I got my baby with me and she had to use the bathroom.